This thing's ready to print. Let's save this thing out. Let's open this thing and grab CAD print. Let's see what we got here. Open our assembly file here. Dude, hold on. What we got? Oh, yeah. GrabCAD print doesn't open SolidWorks 2021 files yet. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Let's see. Ooh, we got a software update. Let's see what this does. Hi. My name is Ricky Shannon, Application Engineer for Trimex 3D Printing Team. And if you're like me, you've been using SolidWorks 2021 for a few months now, and you may have noticed that you can't open native SolidWorks 2021 files in GrabCAD Print. Well, that has all changed with the latest version of GrabCAD Print, and now you can actually open these models directly in GrabCAD Print. So today, I want to show you kind of some of the benefits of using your native SolidWorks file and ditching that dreaded uh, STL file format. One of the first things you'll realize is that you could just simply save your file. We don't have to go and make any changes or figure out how our mesh and tessellation settings in, the, in a STL file. Instead, we can save our model, uh, be it an individual part, or in this case, an assembly. And this assembly even has sub-assemblies inside of it. We'll notice that we actually on this model have a carbon fiber texture, and we even have a transparency going on here on this lid and we can see we have parts kind of hidden down inside of here. So within GrabCAD print now we can even just bring these models directly in. So I'm going to go ahead I'm going to select this assembly file. This is a fairly complex assembly of uh, about 20 or so um, individual parts within it and we can open this directly on our tray. Right now I have a J55 open up. This is a full color uh, polyjet printer produced by Stratasys and this is a very unique machine because it uses a rotary table which actually increases print quality and print speed. But we'll see when we open this we actually have a part that gets brought in identical to how we saw it within SolidWorks. So we zoom in on this model a little bit we'll see we have that same blue carbon fiber texture we have our logos and we have all of our transparency that we wanted directly on this part. Now this is pretty unique in the fact that we have assemblies and we can actually assemble, we can even disassemble this model if we wanted to. Some other unique things that we see here is that we end up being able to correct mesh errors. Even native CAD files sometimes with surface bodies and such can have errors in them. In this case, this interior component has some sort of meshing error on it, but that's okay because we can actually repair this automatedly inside of GrabCAD print. We also have the ability to see other um, issues that might be with the model. In this case, it does like to warn us if we're printing something really small. This is particularly handy in case you have a model that maybe was modeled in millimeters instead of inches that you can realize that something seems really far out of scale. In the case of doing full color things with tiny little details, it's pretty common to have really small components. This isn't uh, going to affect your print at all. It's just the software's way of letting you know that you do have some things that are rather small within your model. So we can even take this and we can reassemble this if we want. And we can actually print this model as is. And we get a pretty good representation of what we see right here on screen. Now, even if you don't have a full color machine like the J55, let's say you're utilizing Stratasys's uh, most recently released machine. That would be a uh, J850 Pro. The J850 Pro is a polyjet machine and it is designed to print in seven materials at one time. However, it's not full color. It's focused on offering you a range of engineering materials. In this case, basically grayscale with clear and rubberized or higher temperature, higher impact materials. If we bring the same model into this environment, we'll realize that we really don't lose very much. Now, obviously, we lost the color aspect of this. However, we'll actually see that we have all the other attributes to it. We do have the carbon fiber texture, the transparencies. Those are all there and are still going to print. However, the color side of it is gone. Now, an interesting thing that we can do is we could go and kind of turn on and off various portions of this model. In this case, I'm going to take this lid assembly part, and I'm going to go to hide 
don't print, in which case, if I was printing this and say wanted to add a more engineering related feature to it, like something rubberized, I could actually select portions of this model and start applying different specific materials to it. In the case of the J850 Pro, we have rubberized materials at our disposal, so I can go and choose a material that I want that to be. In this case, blending a digital material, I'll blend a clear rubberized material with a rigid black. In this case, I'm going to go with about a Shore 95A rubber. This will end up being a black rubber that has uh, some squish to it. So in this case, if I'm ready to print this, I could simply go and hit print, and I'll get a really good rendition of what you see on screen. Now, even if you don't have PolyJet, that's okay. I'll go ahead. We can show this back. What you can do is even utilize uh, some of the features um, that you see here within a FDM workspace. So we can go ahead and select a machine. Let's select a Stratasys F370. I'll choose ours in Connecticut because the beauty is with GrabCAD print, you can see multiple machines at your disposal. I'm actually recording this in Virginia and uh, setting up parts for on a tray in Connecticut. In this case, we could bring in our file. And when we do so, we obviously don't have any colors because our FDM machines are single material machines. However, we still could take full advantage of being able to assemble and disassemble components. Maybe in this case, there's only select things that we care to print. So we could simply holding down control and dragging and selecting components that I don't care to here to print. Maybe we'll just print the main body. We'll hide the lid and all that. So we'll hide, don't print. Then I can reassemble this. And now I'm good to print now. So whether you're working with full color printers like the Stratasys J55 or uh, engineering polyjet machines like the uh, J850 Pro or even FDM, there's a lot of benefits to be able to use your native SolidWorks file over using a STL file. So if you have more questions, please feel free to reach out to the Trimec Applications Engineering team. Thank you.